Hey everybody, it's Rockula, and welcome back to Rockula Retrospective. Well, The Walking Dead Season 6 has been over for a couple of weeks, and I've been itching to do something about it, so I decided I was going to do a tag video. Now, if you guys don't know what a tag video is, what you do is you ask a group of questions, then you invite other people to answer those questions. Now you, the viewer, can answer those questions either in the comment section below or you can make your own tag video. Send me the link and I'll respond to your tag video in the comment section. You're also welcome to add any question that you like and I'll answer that question as well. Now uh, what I've done is I've invited four of my YouTuber friends to contribute to this tag video. The first one is Raw Wrist, and uh, by the way, you can check out everybody's uh, individual channels down there in the comments, and I'm also going to put them uh, in the annotations here. Raw Wrist is a friend of mine that I have watched mostly for her comic stuff and the Walking Dead stuff, and I'm just starting to warm up to Game of Thrones because I'm kind of, uh, I'm more of a passive viewer of Game of Thrones, but Raw Wrist is going to contribute a question. So will three of my DeadTuber friends. Now, DeadTubers is a, is a Facebook uh, room that I put up for people that review The Walking Dead. Now, we've got Meg Stansfield, who is uh, st the stalwart. She puts out a lot of Walking Dead videos, and she has... Uh, soldiered on and done a lot of stuff also with fear of the walking dead so uh you know i feel your pain there so uh she also does game of thrones too i've also asked Lori gory to uh to ask a question and then there is jessica from two dead girls and uh it's hippie chick and jessica is probably one of my main bros on YouTube for The Walking Dead, so they're all going to ask questions, but I'm going to ask my question first. So, my first question is, what is the biggest mistake that Rick has made this season? Now, if you had asked me this question about two-thirds of the way through the season, I would have said that Rick made a mistake by not controlling the walker pit. Now, I know this is like a cheap plug for another video, but I did make a video about the Walker Pit situation, and I'll put the link up here. And I just think, you know, in general, he could have controlled the Walker population. I go into great detail up here. But then it came to the part where they went over to the hilltop and agreed to go and uh, do a preemptive strike on Negan's men. That's the biggest mistake that he made throughout this entire series because he didn't check to see how big Negan's group was, how well supplied they were. He did almost no reconnaissance and he relied on the word of someone who said they've maybe seen 20 people at a time. That's not really what you want to do. You don't want to go poke a hornet's nest and find out that it's got millions and millions of hornets instead of a couple of hundred. So I think that was the biggest mistake that Rick made this season was underestimating Negan. All right, now to the guest YouTuber questions. Here's the first one from Raw Wrist. My question for Rockula Retrospective. Do you think they changed the ending of the season where they didn't show who was killed because of the backlash they got when everyone thought that Glenn had died along with Nicholas during the dumpster city scene. I think a lot of people were surprised and upset when they didn't show who was killed, but I kind of expected it. And if you see in the reaction video that I did at Insane Comics, uh, I pretty much said, here it comes, it's going to cut to nothing. And it did. You know, uh, Glenn's fake out death twice just reinforced my suspicion that, uh, you know, minutes were ticking away and there was no resolution in sight, so I knew it was coming. As far as backlash about it is concerned, I believe that The Walking Dead is getting close to jumping the shark. I mean, I've only looked at a cursory outline of what the comics entail, 
And it uh, looks like we're coming close to catching up and uh, surpassing it like uh, Game of Thrones. I know that there's one more big bad on the horizon, but, you know, how many variations of the big bad can we have before the show starts to lose steam? I mean, come on, uh, Negan is a pretty big, big bad. It's going to be hard to top that. And, uh, you know, I just think that the, the show needs to start thinking about an exit strategy. Um, you know, so it's a lot of histronics about, oh, you know, they're they're teasing the audience. That's exactly what they're supposed to do, because this is going to this is more of a pandering towards the uh, the average person who will put up with that shit, because a lot of uh, the hardcores are starting to talk about quitting watching because they're showing signs of using the same old tactics of uh, most network TV shows. The next question is from Lori Gory. Hi. My question is, now that Rick is stripped of everything, well, other than his clothes, do you think it will make him a better leader or a more efficient killer? Well, I believe that Negan has already scouted out Alexandria and knows that Rick is a leader. I mean, he called him out in front of everybody and said, who's this? Is this Rick? But he knew who it was. And he's doing it just to mess with Rick. And he is succeeding because Rick has freaked out and flipped his shit. And Negan is going to break him down and break him down until he becomes malleable enough to where he can hold something over his head. It's probably going to be like... uh using Carl in some way. I know Carl's going to get dark in this uh, next season, but he's going to have something holding over Rick's head to keep him obedient. And what he's going to use him for is his leadership skills with Rick's group, along with other people. He's got great organizational skills. So the question is not uh, what will it do to his leadership skills? It's more of how long is it going to take for him to get it back? Uh, kill Negan and go on with it because uh, at some point he's going to have to regain his leadership skills. So our next contributor is Meg Stansfield. And uh, I just need to point out that Meg Stansfield is doing fear of the walking dead over on her channel. So uh, go check her out and check out her reactions as well. And her reviews. So here's her question. Hi, Rakula. If you were able to choose, who would you pick to be Lucille's victim? Why would you pick that person? And how do you think it would affect future storylines? Thanks for answering. Well, let's examine who was at the scene. And we got Rick, Maggie, Abraham, Michonne, Daryl, Sasha, Aaron, Eugene, Carl, Rosita, and Glenn. So uh, the person that I would pick to get Lucille is the person that I actually think will be Lucille, and that is Abraham. Um, there's a couple of reasons why, but first of all, I just want to establish who wouldn't be getting the bat no matter what. Scuttlebutt on the internet, and you know, once again, I don't read spoilers so much, but I do listen to people talk about things. Uh, Negan supposedly does not hurt women. So Maggie, Michonne, Sasha, and Rosita are out of the equation. And I'm guessing since he's already done, uh, you know, his research, he's got a loose sketch of each, each person in the group because he obviously knows enough about them to know when they were leaving Alexandria. Once again, he ain't going to kill Rick because he needs Rick's leadership capabilities. And he's probably not going to kill Carl because... You know, like I said, he might be using Carl to exert influence over Rick. So, yeah, I'd say that I would pretty much think it should be Abraham, mostly because he was the, uh, I don't want to say the most expendable, but he's pretty much the one that has the least roots within the group. I mean, he's been trying to sever him with Rosita and he just got in with Sasha. So I'd say that Abraham, plus Abraham is going to be so defiant that he's never going to uh, fall in line with Negan anyway. So I think that's something that Negan senses. So um, my preference is who I think is actually going to get the bat, and that is Abraham.
as far as what effect will that have on the future storylines, I think that another, you know, I need to bring this up too. Abraham is also probably going to have the least effect on storylines because he's going to go out stoic. You know, at the end, he's uh, when Negan said, hey, he took it like a champ. That's the only person that could take that bat like a champ. But I think that the only thing that this is going to do is going to be a kind of let's do it for Abraham kind of thing. Um, everybody pretty much has accepted the fact that Abraham is willing to die at any time to protect everybody else. So I think that uh, it's kind of a good thing that it is Abraham because it will it won't have as deep of an emotionally scarring effect of anybody else in the group getting the bat. So our final question comes from Jessica from Two Dead Girls and It's Hippie Chick. Hey, Rockula, it's Jessica, also known as It's Hippie Chick, one half of Two Dead Girls. Um, thanks for asking me to be part of your tag video, and I am here with my question for you. All right, aside from the obvious, which is who got the bat, I have two questions. Who do you think Lucille is? Was his bat named after someone special? And also, do you think Glenn and Maggie's baby is possibly stillborn and is a fetal zombie? You can cut some of that out if you want to, but not keep it in. I don't care. I would say Jessica and I are very alike in this one aspect in that neither of us like to read spoilers. I mean, I post a lot in uh, Facebook groups and so forth, and I see a lot of kind of spoilers, but the one thing I have heard nobody talk about is who is Lucille named after? Um, I don't know. I don't see Negan being very, uh, how shall we say, sentimental. So I don't think it's going to be his childhood sweetheart or his wife or his daughter or anything like that. I can see him naming it after some kind of pop culture icon like B.B. King's guitar or Lucille from the Little Richard song Lucille or something like that. But I don't think it's going to be anything that's going to humanize him too much. In fact, I think he's going to he's going to become the anti governor to a lot of people because the governor got humanized, but got really dark. And I think that Negan is not going to be that human and he's going to get dark, but he's going to be dark in a very charming and entertaining way. He's going to have a lot more fans than the governor. Everybody hated the governor. I don't know anybody that said, Ooh, I love the governor, but I am seeing in a lot of, uh, a lot of people out there, they're saying, I, you know, despite the fact that I'm supposed to hate this guy, I think I'm going to really like Negan and a lot of uh, has been uh, females talking about how handsome he is. So yeah, I think that he will be the anti-governor. Now the other thing is uh, the second question is Glenn and Maggie's baby. Did she miscarry? Is the baby dead? Now here's another little linchpin of what I was talking about before how Negan doesn't hurt women and I'm starting to wonder if maybe he is you know he protects women I don't know well maybe he'll find out that he's just a prostitution ring pimp or whatever but it would not surprise me if Negan saves the baby as soon as Abraham gets the bat and we get through all of that he's gonna go straight to Maggie and say hey let's get you some uh, some care and save that baby because you know it's like all the stress and uh, you know as far as the miscarriage and shit like that is there's two uh, theories on why it might be a miscarriage well three really one is just the general stress of life living in the zombie apocalypse and two you know she made the assault on the uh, the outpost and did a lot of rough and tumble, and then she did get slashed across the belly. Second uh, theory is maybe it was Enid. With the pickle juice, maybe she, like, uh, poisoned the pickles. Now, uh, 
people keep talking about Enid possibly being a spy. That is a possibility. I think that she could be a spy for Negan, but I don't know why she would deliberately poison Maggie. Um, the fact that they know a lot about everybody and the fact that uh, Enid has been leaving the the leaving Alexandria for a long time. Turns out she wasn't a spy for the wolves. Still possible that she is a spy for Negan's group. But I don't think that she poisoned the baby. So either A, the baby is miscarried from all the stress and or the slash across the stomach or two, just to screw with us, I think that they will have Negan save the baby. All right, well, that is my tag video for The Walking Dead season number six. I want to thank all of my friends who contributed to this. Raw Wrist, Lori Gorey, Meg Stansfield, and Jessica from Two Dead Girls, and it's Hippie Chick. Once again, I would love it if you guys out there watching this would contribute either in the comment section or make your own videos in response. Add as many questions as you'd like and uh, please send me your responses and your links to your videos and I will be more than happy to come over there and uh, comment in your comment section. Well, looks like, uh, you know, uh, Fear the Walking Dead's getting a little bit better. Yeah. Um, I'm actually thinking about doing live reactions from insane comics again for game of thrones. And of course we got Z nation coming up and I'm also thinking about doing live reactions for Z nation. So please like, and subscribe and comment and all of that jazz on this and uh, look for me to do more stuff here at Rockula retrospective. I'm Rockula and this is Rockula retrospective.